So I'm just down the cat aisle in Sainsbury's and I've just seen these little scrambles tins. I think these are the same ones I get her, but it's the smaller version. Those are quite sweet. They've also got Link up there. Oh, I haven't seen these before. Delicious recipes by Sainsbury's. So this is a Sainsbury's own brand. It looks fairly decent quality. Got chicken breast and asparagus. I'm tempted to get Bella one of these. They do a fish soup as well. This one looks quite nice. I might pick up this. They've got individual scrambles tins. Got scrambles as well. Oh, I've never seen these before. Well, this is quite different. Found the bonkers range and they've got some lollipops. I'll get a pack of these. Oh, they've got a little pet section as well. Oh, these are sweet little pillow treats. But the quality is not that good though. Oh, they've got their own dog ones as well. This is just a chicken fillet. That's quite healthy. Oh, and they got these as well. I think they're actually cheaper in here. This is what I got Bella, the goat's milk. So I've got a bit of a collective haul to share with you guys. I said to myself, I'm not gonna get Bella too much this month because I've already got so much food and treats for Bella. She didn't really need anything this month, but I just wanted to stock up on a couple of things. And then I picked up a few little bits here and there. So this is gonna be a collective haul. I ended up picking up this case on Amazon. There's 22 um pouches in here and i'll see if i can open it up to show you guys what it looks like so this is what the pouch looks like in case you have never seen this food before um but yeah this is one of bella's favorite food also on amazon i picked up another one of bella's favorite foods i picked up two boxes of scrambles and i can get these at work but they were a lot cheaper on amazon they were on offer for under nine pound a box so i picked up the classic selection in jelly so you've got chicken tuna salmon and turkey in this box so it's just her usual scrambles tins and if you've never seen them before this is what they look like and yeah i just thought i would restock um the drawer in the kitchen because she's only got a couple of these tins left and then i picked up the meat selection so in here you've got chicken duck and turkey and i always like to be fully stocked on scrambles because i literally give this to her most days so i treated myself to a label printer very unnecessary but i've wanted one of these for years and this is what it looks like i set it up yesterday it was really easy to set up and i can connect it to my phone and i can literally just print a label within a minute it's amazing and this will be so handy for labeling bella's food and treats so i can keep track of when i open things and when they expire this is what it looks like it's adorable so you guys will be seeing this um in future videos and then at work I bought a pack of these high life chicken breast treats. So I think I bought these for Bella before, but she didn't really like them when I gave them to her as a kitten. So I just ended up giving them to my hamster because they can have freeze dried chicken. They also do a, uh, I think it might be cod and they also do a duck one as well. And then we got a delivery from Trixie um, a couple of days ago and my manager ordered these new soups that they had in their catalogue. Um, last time when he made the order they was out of stock but this time round they were in stock. I think I asked him to order them in and he was going to stock them in the shop but we didn't get the right amount of stock in. We only got two of each flavour so he said it, there was no point of him putting them out on the shelf because there wasn't enough so he just let me and my work colleague have two cases for free. So I gave one of the soups to Bella yesterday and Bella is hit and miss with soups as you guys know um, but she did really enjoy this one so hopefully she continues to eat the rest of the tins so there's two flavors so this is what the box looks like and you've got four tins in a pack this is what the tin looks like so one of them is with shrimp and the other one is with salmon so this is the one with salmon it's got pumpkin in there oh it's actually got a bit of chicken in there so it's got chicken broth chicken meat salmon and tuna and this one has chicken broth chicken meat shrimp and tuna so these are chicken and fish soups so that was everything i picked up from work and then yesterday you guys would have seen that i went to um sainsbury's and marks and spencer's with my sister and i did 
did film a couple of clips and I had a look down the pet aisles. Just a really quick look. Um, I would like to go back at some point, spend more time looking at the stuff, but we was in a little bit of a rush, so I didn't get a chance to properly look for everything, but I did grab a couple of bits and Bella didn't really need anything, but I couldn't not treat her to something. So I picked up two things from um, Sainsbury's own range. So it's called Delicious Recipes by Sainsbury's. So I picked up this chicken breast tin in sauce. So it'll be interesting to see if Bella likes this, especially now um, that she is back into eating chicken breast again, which is amazing. And then I also picked her up these chicken soups. So you've got two of chicken breast and two of chicken breast and vegetables. And the cat on this box is so cute. So I hope she likes this. And I love that the little pouches are very cute as well because they've got the little cat on there because a lot of the time because a lot of the time when you get something that comes in a box the packaging is so plain um but this one has a cute little cat on there so can't wait to test Bella out on those and then I picked up a pack of the bonkers per pops and this is the first time I have ever seen these in the UK. Diver's mum sent me a pack over from America because I didn't know we could get these over here. And I have seen this brand in Sainsbury's in the past, the little pillow treats. So I Googled it the other week and I saw that we can get the Pur Pops. So you can get these in Sainsbury's. They had a couple of different um, flavors of the pillow treats and yeah so i thought i would pick up some of these for bella and then the last item i got were these quails eggs sorry my battery just died and the battery that i've just swapped it out for is almost dead as well so i'm gonna be really quick i finally managed to pick up a pack of quails eggs for bella she does quite like boiled quails eggs and freeze-dried quail eggs as well so i've been wanting to try her on some actual like fresh <laughs> quails eggs i had a look online the other week and i saw that you could get these Clarence Court ones in um, Sainsbury's. They were kind of pricey. They're £4.50. But apparently you can actually freeze them so i might give that a go but yeah it'll be interesting to see if she actually likes these i might give some to my work colleagues as well um but these are really sweet so i think i'll try bella on these over the weekend i know this is not the best lighting but i've literally just finished brushing bella's fur i just done a really quick brush i used to brush her every single day but this year i've just been slacking so i'm trying to brush her at least twice a week and then obviously i gave her a treat because it's always good to reward them when you've brushed them so she always gets a treat after every brush and i'm also going to try and brush her teeth today because i haven't brushed her teeth in a couple of days i'm trying my best to stay on top of brushing her teeth but i've actually found her a nice little toothbrush i've been on the hunt for a good toothbrush years and i finally found one so i'll quickly show you guys her toothbrush i really need to organize the um treats in this drawer this jar here is still empty the goat milk treats she's got some of the nature's variety freeze-dried chicken treats these are for dogs but they're 100 percent chicken and they're quite small enough to give to a cat and they've got three other flavors so i really want to buy another pack of those and they're not super smelly either and then here we've just got some dry food uh, by the brand raw so it's just a little sample that my friend from america also sent me and then we've got some of the niblots in here so i'll probably repurchase um, a pack of these once these ones run out and then in this jar i've also got a pack of the scrambles niblots but i think it'll be nice to replace it with um one of these treats so at the back here i've got her current toothpaste you can use this without brushing her teeth i did go ahead and get her this finger toothbrush i got her two but i really don't know where the other one is um but yeah so this is her little toothbrush and this is probably the best one like the best finger toothbrush i have found this is her current toothbrush it's really really tiny so it can fit in her mouth and the bristles are so soft i don't even know if you can see that on camera but the bristles are so soft it does have a little <laughs> tongue rush but um i definitely won't be brushing bella's tongue um and yeah i love that it's got a handle so that you can hold it properly and it's easy for you to and it's easier for you to get to her back teeth her front teeth aren't too bad to brush it's the back ones and those are the ones that have the most problems so yeah dental treats black powders toothpaste dental gels there's also um liquid that you can put in their water i haven't yet tried that but yeah just use a mixture of different things to try and keep on top of your cat's 
dental health because it's so important and you don't want them to lose teeth and it's also very expensive it cost me 700 pounds to get bella's teeth cleaned and she had three tiny little teeth at the front removed because they were wobbly and yeah like i said bella has literally had dental issues since since the day i got her so it's all about maintaining the issues that she already has and trying not to allow them to get any worse than what they are but yeah so that was a very rambly chat about teeth and dental stuff but someone asked for it i hope that was helpful so as we're in this drawer i thought i would give you a little update on this drawer. i feel like every cat vlog i do this drawer changes but i think i am quite happy with the setup now we've got miscellaneous stuff back here so we've got things like wormer drops nose and pore balm another nose and pore balm cat shampoo flea treatment and diarrhea tablet oh and if you're wondering where these pink organizers are from they are from dunelm i've had these for the last i don't know three or four years i've had the major and i've pretty much always had five in this drawer now i've got six because um i took this one out of my hair drawer and replaced it with um the clear acrylic one that i had in here before it was just annoying me that there was just one acrylic organizer and the rest of them were pink so i basically just swapped it out and now it's just got my dice and tools in there um so at the back here i've got um this pack of her electric pore trimmer um fur trimmer nail trimmer and then down here i've just got her glove scissors it's basically just all grooming stuff and here's her other toothbrush put it in the wrong place so i don't really reach for the stuff in here that often that's why it's at the back and then here we've got all of her brushes so she's got quite a few different brushes i have gone through these in a past cat vlog i haven't got any new ones apart from this brush from godiva's mum and this gray brush everything else i have had for years at the back we've got her flexi leads she's got two i think one's a cord and one's a tape and they are two different sizes as well so this is for when she eventually goes outside on her harness and then inside this little container i ended up putting her um harnesses in here she's got two and she's got i think three collars in here so she's got the little kitten one she came with that one had a bow on it and then i got her this pink kitten one took the bow off and then this is her adult collar which i've also taken the bow off but you might have noticed that bella doesn't actually wear a collar anymore she didn't actually mind having the collar on but she's an indoor cat and she technically doesn't really need a collar um i don't know if i would put one on her in the future um but for now she doesn't she doesn't really need one and i always take the um the bells off and then i've just got some baby wipes down the side and i've ordered a really cute floral pouch for these wipes to go in because i'm just really extra like that and that is a tour of this drawer i'm really happy with how this drawer looks there's not really much else that i need to do for it yeah so that's a little quick tour of this drawer i've been talking for almost 20 minutes honestly you guys i live for these cozy september mornings i adore this time of year autumn is like my favorite time of year and um, i can't wait for it to get a little bit colder so that we can start wearing our jumpers and yeah i just love i just love september and october i put this trixie cat post on my vintage um because i don't need it anymore she's getting the new cat post if you guys saw my last cat vlog i bought this to see if it would fit on her current cat post that she's got in the living room i done a whole video on her cat post in my last vlog so yeah i talk about it there um if you saw that video you'll know what i'm talking about but yeah this didn't fit on that cat post so now i'm having to buy a whole new one and i'm also selling her old um cooling mat so she's only had this a year and she's barely used it um but i've put that on my vintage so it's a little while later now and bella actually finished her breakfast quite early so i thought i would go ahead and try her on one of these quail eggs i'm just going to give one to her raw it's like she knows there's something tasty in there and at some point i'm also going to try boiling one and see if she likes it she does actually like boiled quail's egg because she's had it a few times before because you can get some tins of cat food with half a quail's egg in there and she loves the freeze-dried quail's egg yolk so yeah it'll be interesting to see if she likes these i have actually gone ahead and ordered some quail egg scissors it's just so that you can actually 
crack them open a little bit easier. So this is what they look like. <laughs> They're really sweet little eggs. They're so tiny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a knife and just sort of cut around the top. This is what it looks like and hopefully Bella likes it. I would just quickly talk you through what food Bella has in her drawer it's always really nice and satisfying to see it all full up so I've mentioned this a couple of times but I'm currently trying to give Bella fish just three times a week and then I think eventually it will go down to just two times a week because it's not that good to give fish to cats that often so I'm trying to feed her mostly <laughs> anything but fish I have some Jane Silver love so I've got turkey and gravy um, I've got two of them and then I think this one is chicken and jelly and then I've got another one behind and then I've got this Naturo pouch which I'm yet to try Bella on so this was from Godiva's mum and then behind that I've got all her fish pouches so I've got Nature's Ride with salmon, I've got two of them I've got Seriously Good um, tuna loin flakes with prawn, that one's in jelly and I've got another Made by Nacho salmon recipe and then I've got this Guariva um, BFF this is duck and salmon in gravy and then in here we've literally just got a whole row of the nature's variety <laughs> chicken and then over here we've got her tins so along here is literally all scrambles so we've got turkey in jelly and then we've got chicken and jelly chicken and duck and jelly and then um two salmon and jelly and two uh, tuna and jelly at the back and then this row is a bit of mix and match so at the front we've got made by nacho and this is the kitten recipe and this is chicken then we've got the sainsbury's own rain delicious recipes and this is chicken breast in sauce then we've got a n coral chicken breast in broth bella absolutely loves these and then we've got a shashir after dark pate and it's got half a quail's egg and that's chicken and then we've got her scrambles shredded chicken these are the last four tins so she's actually made her way for the box i gave one to my work colleague and i've put one aside for the diver for our next swap and then at the back i've just got two rows of the trixie soup ideally these should be in the cupboard because they are just complimentary they are like treats basically they're classed as a treat um but i haven't got any space in the cupboard so they're just gonna have to sit in this drawer for now to be honest this cupboard hasn't really changed much since you guys last saw it i did end up putting her applause um little pot in this cupboard because they were in the drawer but they are just complimentary meals so i ended up finding some space for them in here um i've got her fish tins down here so that's why she hasn't really got many fish tins in the drawer and then here i've just got her supplements and uh, well one supplement and she's got a bunch of pouches behind then i finally opened this seriously good freeze dried corns because they were right at the back so i kept forgetting that i even had them so i'm just going to pop these in the cupboard these are the delicious recipes by sainsbury's these are their soups so i'm going to empty these pouches into the tray so let's move these out of the way so she's got quite a few complimentary foods to be fair so i think i'll just pop these here i think i'll give this to godiva's mum so this is the wainwright's gravy because godiva does quite like gravy and bella does not <laughs> so i'm just going to pop these back down here here's a better look at all of her complimentary pouches and then and i'll pull this out a bit so you can 
see what we're looking at and yeah that's everything in that one and this is what the top shelf looks like it's basically her freeze-dried food toppers and she's got her dry food there as well and also some bowls and plates behind Bella's just got a couple of toys out I like to rotate her toys but she always loves her tunnel her tunnel is literally the best thing <laughs> ever she loves her tunnel so much and I didn't think she would love her tunnel as much as she does to be honest I didn't think she was even going to be interested in it but yeah she loves this little tunnel we're going to go in there again <laughs> and sometimes she just lays in there as well and yeah she's <laughs> she just has the time of her life in there don't you Bella so I know the lighting is really not the best but I forgot that I wanted to show you guys her label printer. So I wanted to print out a better label for her diarrhea tablet. So what you do is you just type whatever you want on your phone. And then I've turned my label printer on. So you've just got to connect it. And then all I've got to do is press print and then print again. And now I've got a little label. I should have made that a little bit bigger because it is quite small. And then you just push that up to cut it. And then here we have a very small little label. But yeah, I should have printed that a little bit bigger. I have played around with the label printer a little bit, like the first night that I set it up. And I've still got so many things that I would like to label. Just stick that on there and yeah that looks so much better best before March 2025 yeah <laughs> really happy with these and if you're interested in getting a label printer definitely go for this one it's so quick and easy to set up and I love it so much I literally got this for just 16 pounds they're usually 30 something pounds however I got this when it was on sale and yeah for less than 20 pounds I really can't complain and then you just charge it at the bottom and this is exactly the same one that Godiva's mum had so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this bowl up and yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because I've already got quite a bit of footage for it and I'm trying to do slightly shorter cat vlogs if possible so then I can get them up a little bit quicker rather than filming over a period of weeks it's just quicker if I film like a couple of days so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here let me know what you thought of it in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video so bye for now